No physical buttons? No problem. By default, the menu and home buttons and three favorites lie at the bottom bar. You can customize the main menu screen by simply tapping, holding, and dragging the icon to your desired position. You can also customize the home menu to your taste by tapping on one of the sections on the screen and getting into the edit mode. By clicking the bin icon, you can erase all current widgets and then choose your preference from the selection offered. The widgets come in different sizes to choose from, to help you design your favorite layout. You can customize up to three favorites at the bottom, that will remain present on any screen, any time. By tapping and holding the favorites icon, you will be offered various shortcuts for different vehicle functions. You can add a function to the favorites by dragging it to the bottom bar. Similarly, you can customize the control center on the top of the screen. By tapping and holding the icon, you get to the editing menu. Here you'll see the current favorites on the top and you can add new functions from the bottom selection. By dragging the icon, you can save it as a new favorite. By pressing the menu button, you return to your menu screen, no matter where you are. To change the volume, just drag the bottom touch slider left or right to decrease or increase the volume. To connect your phone to your ENYAC IV, go to your smartphone settings and select Bluetooth. On the infotainment display, tap Telephone and pair your phone with the car, which shall appear as a Bluetooth device. After successful pairing, you can sync your phone contacts to the ENYAC IV. To connect your smartphone apps and media to the car, click on SmartLink, then Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to confirm the connection. To connect your phone physically, simply connect it via the USB-C cable in the phone box. Wireless charging with compatible phones is automatically enabled when you place your phone in the phone box. Below the front air vents, you'll find a row of physical buttons. The set button displays the car settings and assist systems. The mode button displays the driving mode selection, where you can choose from any of the predefined modes, or customize the individual driving mode. The climate button for climate control options. The climate max button for immediate strong air conditioning and the rear defrost button for defrosting the rear window. To set up the air conditioning, press the Clima button on the button bar, then click either Smart AC or Classic AC. Then set the preferred temperatures for driver and co-driver using the touch slider or by tapping the plus or minus icons. To synchronize temperatures in the front, tap Sync, to set the level of seat heating, tap the seat icon. To set up the temperature in the back, tap rear, and then set the temperature on the screen or directly in the back. To lock the rear control, tap the rear icon. To unlock, just tap it again. With Smart AC, you can activate several smart functions with one simple tap, like cooling your feet, defogging your windows, or getting as much fresh air in your car as possible. Tap Air Care to purify the air in your car. At any time, you can turn your AC on and off by tapping the AC Off icon. The ENYAC IV comes with a new simplified digital cockpit. The default layout has three parts. The left one shows the assist systems, the middle driving data, and the right navigation directions. You can modify the layout by pressing the two buttons on the bottom right part of the steering wheel. If you press the right button, the screen will focus on and enlarge driving and navigation data. Pressing the left button shifts the focus on assist systems and driving data. The left side of the steering wheel controls media, digital assistant LoRa, and heating of the steering wheel. Pressing the steering wheel icon turns the steering wheel heating on or off. With the scroll wheel, you control the volume and by pressing it, you activate and deactivate the mute function. 
The volume or mute status is shown on the top section of the infotainment screen. With the buttons on the bottom, you can scroll through radio stations or skip your media tracks. Press the voice control button to activate the digital assistant Laura, who can help you with various functions. To shift into reverse, push the joystick up. To shift into drive mode, push the button down. To choose maximum recuperation, shift down one more time. To activate the auto hold function, press set, and then press the vehicle option in the menu. Scroll one tab to the right, and choose the brake option. Here you can turn the auto hold function on or off. We recommend adding this one to the favorites bar. The customizable recuperation function maximizes the range. Eco Assist sets up your car for automatic recuperation. To enable it, press set on the button bar, and then tap the assist systems in the menu, and then tap the list menu. You can even switch the Eco Assist on and off. Depending on your preference, you can choose the level of recuperation via the steering wheel paddles. With the right paddle, you select lower recuperation, and with the left paddle, a higher recuperation. You can choose from three recuperation levels with the selection displayed on the digital cockpit. Once you push the accelerator pedal, the recuperation will again be set to automatic. To manually achieve maximum recuperation, press the joystick to B position. When you shift to either reverse or drive, the respective camera automatically appears on the screen, the rear camera in reverse and the front camera in drive. You can also manually toggle between the cameras. With the side view, you can survey both sides of the car. Tapping the car icon opens a full-screen 360 view around your car. To manually engage the area view, press the Park Assist button. To set up your headlights, press Set on the button bar, and then tap the Vehicle option in the menu, and then tap Headlights. There you can switch on and off the dynamic light assist and dynamic cornering light features. For this to work, you need to be in automatic lights mode, which you can find by your left knee. Switch it on by simply pressing it. Here you can select the poor weather light that replaces the front fog light. And also switch on the rear fog lights. You can change the light sensor sensitivity from low, medium, and high. The automatic headlight control in the rain can be toggled on or off, along with a convenience turn signal. The easiest way to access the assist systems is by pressing set on the button bar, and then tapping the assist systems in the menu. There you can choose between all available assist systems and fine-tune them as per your preference. Or you can access the list menu, where you can easily turn the individual assist systems on or off, and also further customize them to your taste. Easy and intuitive. Just tap the navigation icon and enter your destination until it comes up. The navigation displays the current range and, if necessary, identifies a charging station on the way. Sliding the tab on the right edge enables an overview of your route. You can easily identify where you need to charge on the way, including the time it takes to charge and the estimated time of arrival at your final destination. If you want to select a different charging station, tap on the icon. And tap Other Charging Stations. Here you can select your preferred charging station. Confirm it and the route will be updated with charging at your selected charging station. To charge the car, just simply open the charging cap and plug in the charging cable. The flashing green light on the plug confirms that the car is being charged. 
On the screen, you can set the desired charge amount on the slider. We recommend an 80% charge for optimal efficiency. You can also turn on the option to release the charging cable after the charging has ended. We request you always to keep this option on and not to park on dedicated EV spots when you are not charging. Skoda. Simply clever.